Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here, back again with another DJI Osmo video. Uh, now you may have seen my initial field test of the Osmo, and I'm very pleased with the performance, but with that being said, what I'm going to do within this video is point out some of the things that I'm not super satisfied about. Now with that said, I still love this camera. I will continue to use this camera, and actually I preference it over my GoPro Hero 4 Black and a Feiyu gimbal with monopod extension for the GoPro Hero 4 Black. So with that being said, let's jump right in here. Uh, the first thing that you may notice is that the Osmo comes with a really nice case. And check the link within this video's description. You can find the Osmo and the various accessories. So check that out. And then also the iPod Touch that I use with the Osmo. Not every iPod Touch model will work with the Osmo. Uh, but the first thing you'll notice is the case. Very nice case. Obviously not waterproof, but uh, semi-hard and, and something where it's probably uh, somewhat resistant to the element. So if you're trying to get out of, uh, out of uh, bad weather quickly, it may temporarily protect it. Also, since it's semi-hard, you put it in a camera backpack along with other gear, it's going to, it's going to better protect the Osmo. And that's important because when you're buying something at this price point, it is, a, it is an expensive camera and it's something that you would prefer not to have damaged. Uh, this has, as you saw in my unboxing video, it has the little loops here where you can optionally attach the included shoulder strap. I don't use the shoulder strap, but it's nice to have it there. What you may not think about with this, and I didn't think about it initially, but what do you think of when you see this? And not this a problem for me, because personally I, I feel that guns are fine in responsible hands. But with that said, when you carry this, whether it's an airport, wherever you're going to shoot video, inevitably it looks like you're carrying a revolver. And that, <laughs> that, could, that could create some unwanted, uh, some unwanted encounters in the field, just a heads up. So I wish they would uh, redesign this case to make it look less like a pistol. So let's get into it and talk about, whoa, almost dropped it in, dropped it in the water there. That wouldn't be good. It's really nice the way this is designed, obviously form-fitted for the Osmo, and then they also have form-fitted for the Osmo, the, uh, the Velcro that better keeps it in there. Super easy to take it in, super easy to take it out. Good job, DJI, with that. But let's just make it look less like we're carrying a gun with us. The uh, Osmo itself, I like a lot. Inevitably, people nowadays are lazy, and they're probably not going to read a user's manual. So with that being said, when I look at the Osmo, I see unlock, unlock, unlock over here, and then unlock there. Four places to unlock. When it's in travel mode, everything's locked to better prevent the camera, to better protect, rather, the camera and the gimbal assembly during transport. So to use it, you unlock this, well, the camera first, unlock the camera first. That's another thing, they should number this, step one, step two, step three make it easier for the user. So that was step one. Step two is that. Step three is a side piece. Now everything is unlocked and ready to use. The problem is, and I'm going to lock it back first before I do this. Okay, so now everything's locked back. The problem is this little ring that has kind of a grippiness to it, that also has a lock and unlock icon. So for me to look at that, I assume that I need to unlock that. Well, let's say you did unlock that. What happens? Camera's still attached, but you'll notice it's a little bit loose. The user may assume that it's loose like that because it's gimbal stabilized. It's going to create smoother video. The fact of the matter is, is that that is not something you unlock before using. That enables the camera to release. So if someone inadvertently did that in the field, you know, maybe they're on a boat like I am most of the time, maybe they're over a hard uh, piece of ground, concrete or something along those lines, and they tilt it, potentially this could become lost forever at the bottom of the ocean. It could fall to the ground, become damaged. There's a lot of things that could happen. So a quick fix for that, without redesigning the product, would be to put a bright yellow or bright red decal that a user must 
take off before using that says, do not unlock this before operation. This detaches the camera. You know, something along those lines. Because mark my words, there's going to be users all over the world that are, going to, that are going to buy this, rush out and use it, and they're going to lose or damage their camera. <laughs> so that's, that's an area for improvement. I really like this side piece. Putting the iPod Touch that I use on it is just very nice. It's a very good build quality. Actually, the build quality of this exceeds the build quality of the uh, smartphone slash tablet holder on top of the Phantom 3 Professional or Phantom 3 Advanced, in my opinion. So great job with that. Great design. Just a really nice, really, really good piece right there. The... Uh, The handle itself feels really nice. It's semi-hard, it, but it's got this grippiness on the back, which is great because you're out in the sun, getting hot and sweaty. Maybe your hands are slightly wet. Obviously, this is not waterproof, but if your hands are slightly wet, that should better assist with the grip. Good ergonomics. The optional included uh, wrist lanyard's nice. Just extra peace of mind while you're using it. Joystick on the back, up, down, left, and right. Very nice to use while you're filming, and you can adjust the speed of it within the app, which is good if you want to get a more cinematic type video look, or you want to speed it up and get, you know, quick up, down, left, and right, whatever your video style may be. Easy to do that. Check the link within this video's description. I've got a video where I explain how to adjust the speed of, of which that goes up, down, left, and right. Physical record button on here, which is really nice. Slide up, slide down, on, off button. Very nice trigger in the front that you can use and, and check out my videos on that where you can kind of lock onto an object. That's a cool feature. Uh, things I do not like, and for me this isn't a problem because I purchased this with the expectation it wouldn't even have audio, but it does have audio built into the camera, so you may not have been aware of that. Uh, the problem with the audio built into the camera is that it is extremely, in my opinion, extremely low quality. It sounds very canny, and it uh, also picks up the noise. There's a fan in the, uh, in the camera. By the way, this is a Sony Exmor camera, which in my book is awesome. My other 4K cameras that I use are also Sony, so it's nice to have this in my arsenal. But yeah, that mic, very low quality. But it's good to have because if you, if you do like I do, and you are in a situation where you're recording audio with your video, you can record it externally, and then this audio is at least high quality enough to sync your audio with your video in post-production. So that's from that standpoint, it's great because I can't do that with a Phantom 3 Pro. Obviously, Phantom 3 Pro camera has no audio. So that's nice that they included audio capabilities with this. But, you know, don't, in my opinion, don't buy this with the expectation that you would want to use the audio uh, for anything more than just... Uh, than just a novelty you're syncing. I mean, for syncing, it's great, but to actually use the audio recorded with this in any sort of production, even if it's an informal production, I would, I would not use it. It's, it's very, very poor quality, in my opinion. But with that said, this Osmo, and again, I've used GoPro since GoPro Hero 2. This Osmo, on today's market, offers the best 4K video quality in, a, in an action camera type format. This is not waterproof. The GoPro is waterproof, but keep in mind, and check out my other video where I use GoPro Hero 4 Black with a Feiyu gimbal with monopod, ex, monopod extension for the uh, Feiyu gimbal. Check out that video, and then check out this video. And it, it is hurricane season, so I've got limited videos now, but I'm about to hit the, the channel with a ton of DJI Osmo video. So you can see for yourself how smooth this is. And what's remarkable, if you compare the videos filmed with this in 4K 30 frames per second to the GoPro Hero 4 Black videos that I filmed in 4K 30 frames per second with the monopod extension on the Feiyu gimbal, you're probably going to feel like I do and realize that this, even though it's short and handheld, it offers superior video quality and superior video stability. So that's that's really nice, and obviously you can get the optional monopod extension for this as well as suction mount and several other mounts, bicycle handlebar mount. Check the link within this video's description. I'll list all of that there as well as the Osmo, of course. 
but uh, yeah, I mean if you're if you're if you're torn between this and GoPro with a gimbal solution, this is going to provide better video in my opinion. And keep in mind, you say, well, man, the water the GoPro is waterproof. Yeah, the GoPro is waterproof, but show me a gimbal that is waterproof. So when you're using that GoPro on a gimbal, unless there's a product I'm completely unaware of, then the, the camera being waterproof is not going to matter because if the gimbal's not waterproof, how are you going to take the GoPro and the gimbal under the water or out in the rain? So think about that. And you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not one that's married to one brand or the other. I mean, obviously, I've used GoPro cameras a lot longer than I've used DJI drones and DJI cameras. But with that said. You know, I'm not married to GoPro and I'm not married to DJI. What I, what I think this signals, the Osmo, and, and I, would, I would buy it again without hesitation, what the Osmo is now is just a really high quality way to capture 4K video that's gimbal stabilized while you're in motion. And this is, this is, these are results that I cannot get with any other camera, 4K camera rig on the market today. So from that perspective, it does exactly what I need it to do. But from a design perspective, again, they need to more clearly identify how to lock and unlock to better prevent people from, from damaging their, their camera right out of the box. If they're going to include audio, they need to include a, an, a, a solution that at least is as good, if not better, than a GoPro Hero 4 camera audio. Or they need to just notate, hey, you know, the audio in this is for reference purposes only. It's, it's really, really poor quality audio. The fan noise, if they are going to keep this microphone set up like they have, they need to somehow make it to where it doesn't pick up the fan noise from the fan and the camera. Yeah, the, the audio is the, is the biggest gripe. And again, it's not a problem for me because I have no intent to use the audio except for syncing video with my external recorded pro audio and post. But for people that do intend to use the audio, there's a lot of people, there are a lot of people online right now that are up in arms because of the audio quality. And that's justifiable. Good product. I like it. Uh, could, uh, could they have better executed with the release? This is the first Osmo that's hit the market. Could they have better executed? Yes. Will the next version of the Osmo be better? Hopefully it will be. But am I satisfied with this Osmo? For capturing 4K video, it's awesome. And I love it. And I love the Sony Exmor base camera. So again, check the link within this video's description. You can find all of this online. Share with others. Drop me a message. I'll be more than happy to, uh, to try to respond. And uh, thanks for watching. And y'all have a good day.